I don't know how the nigga did it for that. I, I would have been to put hands and feet on that nigga. I would have choked the shit out of Russell Westbrook because the nigga just don't have any basketball IQ. And the nerve of this nigga to talk to Laker fans, not any other fan, but the most prestigious fan base in the fucking world. And rightfully so. The Laker Nation run Tinseltown. So for this nigga to say that they can take their asses home just because they was booing them niggas for being down 30 fucking points, are they supposed to be cheering for y'all, my nigga? I mean, I'm confused. Hello? I'm trying to figure out, are they supposed to be cheering for this bullshit? They didn't pay all that goddamn money to go to the fucking game to see y'all get smoked by the goddamn Pelicans? The Pelicans? Are you fucking kidding me? These niggas ain't even got Zion Williamson. Nigga ain't played all goddamn season. I understand they got B.I. I understand they just traded for a C.J. McCullough. I understand they got nice pieces, but so do the Lakers. But these niggas don't play with no fucking heart. These niggas don't understand what it means to wear the purple and gold. I mean, because Kobe Bean Bryant would never, Shaquille O'Neal would never, Rick Fox, Ron Harper, Derek Fisher, Horace Grant, Mark Madsen, yeah, I'm taking y'all niggas back. Mark Madsen, you understand what I'm saying? Some Marky Walker. None of these niggas would do this shit. I'm sick of this shit. I'm staying up late at fucking night, watching these late ass fucking games. We getting blown out every goddamn game. You know, LeBron act like he can't, I, I don't know. He's just so concerned about uh, uh, breaking Kareem record. This nigga don't give a shit about scoring points and, 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 and fucking Bronny getting to the league. And playing with Bronny as if we give a shit about that shit right now. Nigga, we ain't even in the fucking playoffs. So if I was Genie, I would seriously consider moving all three of the motherfuckers. Because I'm sick of this shit. These niggas don't deserve to wear a fucking Lakers jersey. And I know what y'all niggas saying. You know, they may be new to the channel. You know, like E-Thriller, you're tripping. Kobe was getting his ass kicked in the later part of his career. But goddamn it, look what Kobe had to work with. Kobe didn't have no fucking Anthony Davis. Kobe didn't have no Russell Westbrook. Kobe didn't have no fucking parts around him when he after he tore his Achilles. That's why he was getting his ass kicked, and plus he was unhealthy. But LeBron has pieces. LeBron single-handedly handpicked this goddamn team. So I'm not giving LeBron a pass for this bullshit that's going on just because he's getting his numbers and he's still efficient. I don't give a shit about none of that shit. I don't give a shit about none of it. You understand what I'm saying? This is all LeBron's fault. All of it. Everybody knows LeBron is the GM of LA. Everybody knows Rich Paul is pulling strings behind the fucking scenes. And the only move that they wasn't able to make allegedly, according to reports the other day, was that John Wall for Russell Westbrook trade. Now, I don't know why they didn't do it. Because even though John Wall wasn't going to put the Lakers over the hump and he wasn't going to change life, but my nigga, you got to do something. You got to do something to try to get a spark or a boost in the team's morale. Because it's pretty damn apparent that this team has quit on Genie. This team has quit on LeBron. This team has quit on Vogel. You understand what I'm saying? These niggas don't want to play with Russell Westbrook because I bet you they be like, God damn. Every time this nigga get the ball, they just like, man, you know what? I'm going to just sit over here and watch this nigga turn the fucking ball over because it's coming. This nigga turn the ball over like it's going out of style. The shit is coming no matter what. You can bet your fucking last dollar on the shit. The nigga don't know how to play basketball, man. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, this shit is just so goddamn frustrating. I, I just don't know what I'm going to do. There are no brighter days ahead unless they do what the fuck I'm saying they need to do. And just start over. Just go ahead and rebuild. You can get some key pieces. You can get some draft picks for LeBron and Anthony Davis. That's that's just what I would do. Because do the Lakers really want to make the play-in tournament right now? Do they really want to go up against the Golden State Warriors? Do they really want to go up against the Phoenix Suns? Hell, even with Chris Paul being out. With a thumb injury. Do they really want to play Devin Booker, DeAndre Aiden, Jay Crowder, Mikael Bridges? I don't think so because that's the same team that kicked our ass last year. We ain't got shit for nobody. I don't even think we want to play Memphis. 